AutoCAD keeps track of where objects are by using coordinate systems. It's essential to understand how coordinate systems work in order to use AutoCAD effectively. The default coordinate system is called the World Coordinate System, or WCS for short. You can change the World Coordinate System, and when you do, it's called the User Coordinate System. You might want to change the orientation of a coordinate system to align with specific geometry that you're working. Or you might want to rotate the coordinate system when you're doing 3D modeling. To visualize any coordinate system, you can turn on the UCS icon. Type the command UCS, which again stands for User Coordinate System, icon, and press Enter. Turn that on, and you'll see this icon appear. It represents the directions of space. The x-axis runs horizontally, and the y-axis runs vertically in a two-dimensional drawing. This square represents that what you're looking at right now is the WCS. You can click the UCS icon, and grips appear. Hover the mouse over the X grip, and then choose X-axis direction. Turn off ortho, and move the mouse around. You can see that you're rotating the coordinate system itself interactively. Click some arbitrary point to rotate the coordinate system at that angle. Notice how the crosshairs have changed. The red line represents the x-axis, and the green line represents the y-axis. Press Escape to deselect the UCS icon. And then turn on Ortho. Draw some lines, and you'll see that they run orthogonal to the current UCS. This can be a great drawing aid if you have to draw walls, for example, that are on an angle. It's also possible to align the coordinate system to a specific object. To do this, type UCS, Enter, and then select the Object option. Click on this red line over here in the upper right corner. The UCS is now aligned with respect to that object. However, it's upside down. The y-axis is going down, so positive values would be in the downward direction. Let's try this again. I'll type UCS, Enter, and then the default option over here in the angled brackets is World. So if you just press Enter again, you go back to the WCS. I'll press Enter again to repeat the UCS command, and click the Object option. This time I'll click the same red line, but on the left side. Now the coordinate system is aligned, and the y-axis goes up. I can then change the viewport so that it looks directly down on the UCS with the Plan command. Type Plan, and press Enter. The default option here is to go to the current UCS, so just press Enter again. The viewport automatically rotates so that you're looking right down on the UCS. In this way, we are set up to draw this plan up here and replicate it down below. I'm going to erase these lines over here by selecting them and then by clicking the Erase command in the Modify panel. And I'll just pan over here. And let's save this as UCS2. Save As. I'll go in the My Files subfolder and call this UCS2. In summary, you have created your own user coordinate systems and drawn lines orthogonal to a UCS. In addition, you have learned how to align a UCS with an object and how to use the plan command to align the viewport with a UCS.